Welcome back to our next video. In this video, we're going to do bananas and berries. Bananas, let's start with bananas. Bananas are the world, under the world's most consumed fruits. Bananas are typically pretty cheap in the supermarket. Bananas in the supermarket can range from totally green to totally ripened. So, what can you do? When you go to the supermarket, just like many of the, the fruits and vegetables that we've discussed, Try to buy what you logically think you're going to consume by the time that you're going to go to the supermarket the next time. When you're doing buying bananas, if you're buying bananas that are somewhat ripe, fully ripe, um, you want to hang them on some sort of banana hanger. This will help keep them fresh longer. Bananas emit ethylene gas, so you want to keep them away from apples and other ethylene sensitive fruits and vegetables because it'll the bananas will help speed up the ripening process of what it's around if they're ethylene sensitive. The warmer they are, the room is, excuse me, the bananas will ripen quicker. Now if you buy green bananas and you want them to ripen quicker, you can do a couple things. One, wrap the stem end in aluminum foil or plastic wrap. Two, put it in a brown paper bag. This will ripen up the bananas. If the bananas are fully ripened and starting to overripen, you can put them in the refrigerator. Although most of us don't think about putting our bananas in the refrigerator, but if your choice is they're going to go bad because you're not going to use them or throwing them away, it's better to put them in the refrigerator or go ahead and freeze them for banana bread. So you don't want to throw away bananas, even though they're cheap, let's not waste food. Let's move to berries. So these are some blackberries that I picked from my backyard, but they could come in a clamshell container just like this. If you're buying berries in a clamshell, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, whatever the berry, sometimes they have a, a paper and plastic layer at the bottom. If it's strawberries like the ones I have here, there is none, it's just plastic. You want to be, if it's the white paper and plastic, Try to make sure it's not moist. It's like a diaper. And you can see if it's absorbing water. If it's strawberries, you can look at the container typically and look to see if they're moist or if there's any wet spots. Or mold, if it has mold, don't buy them all together. But if it's wet, try to avoid those as well. Open up the container. Look around. Don't really touch them because would you want someone else touching your strawberries in the supermarket, even though you're gonna, you're gonna wash them? but you can shake them around and look around. You don't want any berries that look wet, that are bruised or have mold, anything that looks bad in a berry. One berry will spoil the whole container. So if you do see a bad berry, once you get them home, remove it. Now here are some berry tips, and some of this is not traditional, but it is a proven factor to help keep strawberries specifically, but berries in general, fresh. So when you buy um, when you bring your berries home, you want to, once again, inspect them, make sure there's no bad berries, um, look at the container. Typically, sometimes, depending on what you're going to do with them, you can leave them in the container, but sometimes it, uh, it's better to take them out of the container and follow a, one of two methods. So the first method is the easiest. After inspecting the berries um, in, and put them in the refrigerator and every couple days check to make sure there's no soggy ones. What you can do, like I said, that the, sometimes when you buy the blackberries, raspberries, uh, they have that paper-like diaper. You can put a paper towel at the bottom of the strawberries or berries and look at that paper towel and if it's starting to get wet, it means your berries are starting to um, deteriorate in quality and you need to use them soon or freeze them so that we're not throwing them away. Method two, and this is the one that is um, been shown in some studies like um, Cooks Illustrated and other types of cooking blogs and links that if you take your berries home, inspect them, you dip them in a combination of one part white vinegar and three parts water, let them thoroughly dry, place them in a paper towel lined container that has a lid but don't put the lid on tightly, inspect them every couple days, they will last longer than if you were to just put them in the container like this into the refrigerator. And some studies show that it almost doubles or triples the shelf life of the berry. 
Never wash them ahead of time unless you're doing the dip in the vinegar water solution, which is really not washing them. But um, once again, water is an enemy of berries. So you want to keep them as dry as possible. Whatever method you use to keep your berries fresh, you always want to use the crisper drawer. And once again, um, you want to make sure that they are cold and that there's plenty of air circulation. So remember, if it's going to rot, it should be a low humidity situation. So berries don't do well in very humid situations. So you want to keep them in a lower humidity setting in your refrigerator if you have a crisper drawer. So that was berries and bananas. I'm associate professor and chef at Johnson Wells University, Douglas Stuchel. Join us for our next video.